the bible tells us in the book of jude how that when archangel michael was carrying the body of moses to heaven satan stood there and there was a contention he was interested in the body of moses because you see no spirit can operate on earth until there is a body that cooperates with it it's not about sickness it's not about infirmity it's a search for bodies it's a search for vessels when jesus was about to rebuke the spirit in the man in gadara all the spirits they said look the only reason why we can function in this territory is because there is a body now at least help us minimize the punishment as you banish us from this body don't banish us from the territory why so that peradventure if that man becomes available we can return i like you to pray i sanctify my body i decree and declare it cannot be an instrument of sickness it cannot be an instrument of infirmity lift your voice and pray shake it take it take it i speak to my blood i speak to my blood i speak to my bones i decree and i declare in the name of jesus christ shake it take it take it take it reke teko to shoto pakata barakoto sode bakata the same spirit that raised christ from the dead dwells in my mortal body the same spirit that raised christ from the dead dwells in my mortal body the same spirit that raised christ from the dead dwells in my mortal body i cause sickness i cause the eaters of flesh and the drinkers of blood i cause the drainers of life my body is sanctified mato sekete pray shake it take 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 will not find expression in my body i declare that i am immune sanctified immune above divination above necromancy above projections no manipulations with the stars will project sickness to my body pray i challenge sickness I call you by your name and I banish you from my body. I call you by your name and I banish you from my family. I call you by your name and I banish you from my environment. Pray, make sure you are praying. Shabratika to Zebres. You have a little child, lay your hands on them. I sanctify you. No sickness, no infirmity, no untimely death. In the name of Jesus, my body is a temple. Divinity resides in my body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. That whosoever digs a pit must fall into it. I like you to declare, open your mouth and curse the human entities that partner with spirits to project evil over the lives the bodies of men don't keep quiet open your mouth we close the heavens over them we frustrate their counsels in the name of the lord jesus the church of the lord jesus is alive we are not weak we are not beggarly 
there is an anointing upon us we represent heaven in this territory therefore we decree we decree we define borders we define spiritual borders for the activity of evil thus far have you come no further shall you go we pass a decree we legislate in the spirit in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah before you sit down let me teach you something you see we're teaching on the dominion mandate we'll get there shortly but every time you watch evil loom around your life and you keep quiet and keep silent and hope it will change you have made the biggest mistake are we together evil never never lives by itself are we together don't wait until it happens too late from the onset attack it immediately attack it immediately are we together your phone is missing tomorrow your laptop is missing next tomorrow your shoe don't wait already you know you are you are sensitive shake it close your door blast in tongues for 15 minutes let me tell you something with satan satan experiments he pushes something and then sees your depth of spiritual sensitivity when you are carnally minded you will look for foolish explanations and then he will suspend it for a while so that you don't pray he attacks an issue when it's about to get too much he knows you will pray so he will relax you will remain in that condition then he brings another one before you know it you have been eaten over by darkness whether it is in the middle of a night you turn and it looks like you felt something on your face listen listen let me tell you i won't tell you to do something i'm not doing go and ask the devil you wake up and there is a wicked dream an evil dream you went to sleep after prayer you are in a period of fasting then he mocks you you lie down to sleep and you see someone comes to sleep with you or one kind of nonsense then you just stretch and say no problem no no light or no light worship or no worship charge yourself call the spirit by name listen let me tell you when men sleep things happen in this realm i have told you you lie down to sleep and men make incantations attempting to project your spirit to realms so that they plant things and you return back you wake up with things you did not sleep with are we together we'll pray again one more prayer just one more prayer i like you to pray and say enough is enough whether you know the name of what is happening to you or not blast in tongues the word has come it's my season of triumph shake it take it out. mysterious disappearances of items mysterious coincidences of bad luck mato soto brigatai pray online pray outside I sanctify my borders I cross the gates of Leviathan I cross you in the name of Jesus I lift up the standard of the blood I invoke the blood I invoke the blood I command the elements of creation to stop cooperating with any human agent that uses the elements of the supernatural to project evil to men we curse you we curse you we curse you by the god of heaven
Hallelujah. The Bible says, resist the devil. It didn't say discourse. It didn't say hope. It didn't say wish. James 5 13 says, Is anyone among you afflicted? Let him pray. That's it. That's the requirement. Is anyone afflicted? Affliction is not just sickness. When things are not happening, as the word of God said should be, let him pray. Let him pray.